in a rush. So Top of Hat had to go back to his house to pick up Lady Hat and take her to Tit McBay. So Top of Hat was going to go in his car. But as he drove it, he realized that his one of his tires were flat. Oh bother that tire, he said. Now how are we supposed to get to Tid McBay? said Lady Hat. I'll think of something, said Sir Topham Hat. Just then Birdie arrived. Don't worry, I'll take you to Tidmouth Bay, he said. Oh, thank goodness, said Sir Topham Hat. Come on, my dear, we're taking Bertie to Tidmouth Bay. Sounds good to me, said Lady Hat. As soon as Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat boarded Bertie, he, he drove away. Bertie was about to approach Elswidge when suddenly he began to overheat. Oh dear, Bertie groaned. Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat were worried. How are we supposed to get to Tidmouth Bay now? said Lady Hat. I'll take you, said a well-known voice. It was Thomas, with Danny and Clarabelle. Thank goodness, said Sir Topham Hat. Come on, my dear, we're getting on, the tr we're taking the train there. Sure thing, Topham, said Lady Hat. By the time Sir Topham and Lady Hat climbed on board Thomas, Thomas made his way. Thomas was making good time until... As he approached Dryor, he felt something snap underneath his wheels. Ouch! cried Thomas. What happened? One of your wheels snapped, Thomas, said his driver. Thomas felt worried. Who's gonna take a Sir Topham and Lady Hat to Tidmouth to Bay now? He said. I wish I could, said Daisy, but I have to take the passenger train down to Farquhar. I can take them, said Harold the helicopter. Oh, thank goodness, said Thomas. I'll arrange for another engine to take your passenger train down to Netford and take you to the works, said Sir Topham Hat. Thank you, said Thomas. One of the engines who were available was Lady. And as she took Thomas to the works and took his passenger train out to Nat Ford, Sir Topham and Lady had boarded Harold. And Harold got ready to take off. Prepare for takeoff, he said, and he took off into the sky. It took a long while, but at last Harold finally arrived at Tidmouth Bay Castle. Sir Topham Hat was pleased with Harold. Thank you. You really are a useful helicopter, Harold, he said Sir Topham Hat. It feels good to be of service. Harold said happily. 
And that night, Alicia Barty sang and sang and sang. And all the people liked it. By the time the concert was over, Thomas took Alicia Barty to Tidmouth. And when Alicia Barty looked inside the coaches, she was pleased that there was no mice inside them. Thank goodness, she said. Thank goodness is quite right, said Annie. We won't even go anywhere if there's any screaming and if there's a, and if our windows break again, Clarabelle added. Let's just agree that that whole incident at Vickerstown that happened was just a crazy coincidence, said Thomas. Annie and Clarabelle cold-heartedly agreed, and Thomas steamed off to Tidmouth. The next morning, Pip and Emma got ready to take Alicia Barty home, and their coaches were finally repaired. And they roared away back to the main. And the engines were all going to miss her. And they hoped that they never had to get into another complication whenever semi-famous arrives ever again. <laughs>